Before starting the tutorial, I'd like to thank the phone for sending me this cute Bluetooth speaker and let me show you how it works. There is a QR code at the bottom and when you use it, you will be connected to an app and you will be able to create your own pixel art. You can also discover other cute pixel arts on the app and you can display them on the screen. My favorite part about this is you can also play games and do pixel colorings and many other things using this. And now I'm playing the snake game, which I really really love. If you want to purchase this cute Bluetooth speaker, Use my code for 10% off your purchase or use the link in the description box down below. Now let's get back to the tutorial. Firstly, we are going to make the legs. So let's make a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your two fingers like this. Put your thumb on the X. And then insert your hook. Pull the second one to the front and twist it. Then yarn over and pull through to make the first chain. After that, remove the ring from your fingers and let's start round 1. For round 1, we're going to make 6 single crochets into the magic ring. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the ring, pull the yarn like this, then pull up. Now you got 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those 2 loops and you made 1 single crochet. You will have to repeat this until you got a total of 6 single crochets. So once you got 6 single crochets, pull the tail to close the ring like this and then let's start round 2. So find the first single crochet that you made in round 1 and insert your hook into that stitch. Then after that, make a single crochet. This is the very first stitch of round 2, so please put a stitch marker on this so you would not lose the starting point of round 2. For round 2, we are going to be making single crochet increase in every stitch. So I'm going to make the second single crochet in the same stitch and this will become an increase stitch. So for the increase, you will just have to make two single crochets together in each stitch. Now I move on to the second stitch and I'm going to make the first single crochet and also the second one in the same stitch and this becomes an increased stitch so please repeat making increased stitches in every stitch and when you reach the stitch marker there will be a total of 12 stitches and you will get like this please remove the stitch marker and now let's start round 3 so make the first single crochet for round 3 and put a stitch marker for this time, put a stitch marker on the side like this. For round 3 and 4, there won't be any increased stitches. We will just make one single crochet in each and every stitch. So make one single crochet in each and every stitch for round 3 and you will get a total of 12 single crochets. Also for round 4, repeat making one single crochet in each and every stitch and you will also get 12 single crochets. If you want to know how many rounds you are making, I will show you how to count them. So the place where you put the stitch marker is round 3 and the stitch above it is round 4. And I'm at a stitch before the first stitch of round 4. So this is how you count. This is how you check the rounds. Now chain 1 and cut the yarn. And now we finished making the first leg. For the second leg, please repeat round 1, 2, 4 again, but don't cut the yarn. After making the second leg, let's continue round 5. For round 5, we are going to attach these two legs together. So to attach it, we will make a single crochet on the first leg. 
So insert your hook into any stitch you want. Insert your hook like this. And then make a single crochet. And this stitch will become the first stitch of round 5. So don't forget to put a stitch marker on that stitch. Now we will continue making single crochets in each and every stitch on both legs and on each leg there should be a total of 12 single crochets. Since there are two legs, there will be a total of 24 single crochets. So please make sure that you are making 12 single crochets on each leg. So when you are making single crochets, please count them. And when you got 12 single crochets on this leg, stop making and move to the second leg. Now I finished making 12 single crochets on this leg and I will move on to another one. Find a new stitch. Here, this one is new, so insert your hook into that stitch and make a single crochet and again make single crochets on each and every stitch and when you reach the stitch marker there should be a total of 12 single crochets on this second leg you will get like this after making round five and now let's make the first single crochet of round six and put a stitch marker on the side so from round 6 to 9 we're going to make one single crochet in each and every stitch and in each round there will be a total of 24 single crochets so just repeat making single crochets until you got round 9 this is how to check the rounds the place where you put a stitch marker is round 6, this is 7th, 8th, and this one is 9th. So I finished making round 9. And before moving round 10, please grab your stitch markers and put them on this middle stitch of the side. Because we're gonna make hands on round 10. So put your stitch marker in the middle side stitches and then make a first stitch of round 10. After that, remove the stitch marker and put it on that stitch and repeat making single crochet in each stitch until you reach the stitch marker. When you reach the stitch marker, let's start making the hands. For the hands, we'll be making 5 double crochets in this stitch. To make a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, and pull the yarn, pull up, then yarn over again, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. Now you made one double crochet. To make the hand, you will have to make 5 double crochets in the same stitch. After making 5 double crochets, make single crochet in the next stitch and you will have to repeat making single crochets in each and every stitch until you reach the stitch marker and when you reach the second stitch marker, we will make the hands again. When you reach the stitch marker, remove it and again make 5 double crochets in this same stitch.
After making five double crochets, continue making single crochets in each and every stitch until you reach the stitch marker. For round 11, make single crochets in each and every stitch until you reach the double crochet stitch and you will get like this. And when you reach the double crochet, we will make half double crochet. For half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, pull the yarn. For this, yarn over and pull through all three loops and you made one half double crochet. You will have to make half double crochets on the double crochet stitches since there are five double crochets in the previous round you will have to make five half double crochets now i'm making the fourth one and this will be the last half double crochet and then after that make single crochets on the single crochet stitches and when you reach the double crochet stitches make half double crochet stitches Now I'm at the double crochet stitches, so make half double crochets. And again, there will be a total of five half double crochets on this side. After making the last half double crochet, continue making single crochets until you reach the start. And also for round 12, make single crochets on single crochet stitches and half double crochets on half double crochet stitches. Also for round 13, make single crochets on single crochet stitches and for the arms, we will turn it into only one stitch. So for that, yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch like this and pull the yarn pull up now you got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the first two loops and please repeat this step yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull the yarn then yarn over and pull through the first two loops please repeat this step until you got a total of six loops on your hook now there are only four loops i will repeat this again now there are a total of five loops and i will repeat this step for one last time so what we are doing is we are making the five half double crochets into one stitch So now there are a total of six loops on my hook. So now you will have to yarn over and pull through all these six loops together. Yarn over and pull through all the loops and this becomes one big stitch. Then after that continue making single crochets on single crochet stitches. And when you reach the second arm you will have to repeat this step again. Which is making one big stitch. Now we are at the half double crochet stitch again. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull the yarn, and yarn over and pull through only the first two loops. And please repeat this step until you got a total of six loops on your hook. Once you got six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all those loops. And the five half double crochets becomes one stitch. And then after that, continue making single crochets on single crochet stitches. 
If you want to count the number of the stitches, there should be 22 single crochets and two big stitches. So there will be a total of 24 stitches. And now we can see the shape of the body. And let's move on to round 14. To start round 14, make the first stitch. And for this round 14, we will make two single crochets and then after that a decrease stitch now I'm making the second single crochet and now it's let's make the decrease insert your hook into the front loop of the next stitch so normally we will insert our hook like this but for this decrease you will have to insert your hook into the front loop and also into another front loop so two front loops and then make a single crochet and this becomes a decreased stitch after this repeat the pattern again make two single crochets and then a decreased stitch please repeat this pattern for six times and when you reach the stitch marker there should be a total of 18 stitches Before moving on to the next round, fill inside the body with fiber fillings. And for this last round for body, you will have to repeat this pattern, which is making one single crochet and decrease stitch. You will have to repeat this pattern for six times, and there will be a total of 12 single crochets when you reach the start. So now make a decrease stitch because I finished making the first single crochet. After this decrease, make one single crochet like this. Then after that, make a decrease stitch next. So please repeat this until you reach the stitch marker. Now the body part is finished and let's move on to making the head. And let's start with round one. For round one of the head, you will have to make single crochet increases but in the front loop stitches only so insert your hook into the front loop of the stitch and make one single crochet since we are making single crochet increase you will have to make two single crochets together now i finished making one increase and into the next front loop insert your hook into the next front loop and make two single crochets and this becomes the front loop only single crochet increase. Please repeat this until you reach the stitch marker and there will be a total of 24 single crochets. This is what it looks like after completing round 1. You can see the back loops of the stitches. And now let's move on to round 2. For round 2, we will make 1 single crochet and then after that, an increased stitch into the next stitch. Please repeat this pattern for 12 times and you will get a total of 36 stitches. So after making 1 single crochet, make 2 single crochets together in the next stitch. Now I finish repeating the pattern, so repeat this again, make 1 single crochet and an increased stitch into the next stitch. Please repeat this until you reach the start. So the head will start to look like this after round two. Now make the first stitch for round 3 and put your stitch marker on the side. And from round 3 to 8, we'll be making single crochets in each and every stitch. And in every round, there will be a total of 36 stitches. So just repeat making single crochets in each and every stitch. 
until you reach round eight. So now let's check the rounds. This is round three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we can move on to round nine. Make the first stitch of round nine and put a stitch marker on that stitch. For round nine, we will repeat this pattern, make one single crochet and then after that, a decrease stitch. Then repeat this again, make one single crochet and a decrease stitch next. Please repeat this pattern until you reach the start and there will be a total of 24 stitches. For those who are going to use safety eyes, Please put your safety eyes between round 4 and 5, count it from top and when you put the eyes, please leave 5 stitches between the eyes. And now let's move on to round 10. For round 10, you will have to repeat this pattern which is making 2 single crochets and a decrease stitch next. Please repeat this pattern for 6 times and there will be a total of 18 stitches. For round 11, you will have to make one single crochet and a decrease stitch next. Please repeat this pattern for six times and when you reach the start, there will be 12 stitches in total. Before moving the last round, please fill inside the head and for this last round, you will just have to make decrease stitches for 6 times. After making 6 decrease stitches, chain 1 and cut the yarn. After that, grab your darning needle and sew the last round. So to sew it, just go in and out of the stitches and then pull the tail and it will be closed. Then don't forget to secure the yarn after sewing. If you want to watch precisely, please slow down the video speed in the video setting. So now the head and the body is finished and let's move on to making the ears. First, we're going to make a magic ring and again make 6 single crochets into the magic ring for round 1. Once you got 6 single crochets, Pull the tail and for round 2, we will be making 1 single crochet and an increased stitch. So now make the first stitch for round 2 and put a stitch marker on that stitch. According to the pattern, we will be making the increased stitch into the second stitch. So for the increase, make 2 single crochets together in the same stitch. 
Then after that, please repeat this pattern until you reach the start. When you reach the start, there will be a total of 9 single crochets. When you finish round 2, remove the stitch marker and for round 3, make 1 single crochet in each and every stitch. Since there are 9 single crochets in round 2, you will also get 9 single crochets in round 3. And when you reach the start, chain 1 and cut the yarn and please leave a long tool for sewing. With this pattern, you can make the ears for the bear and the eyes for the frog. For the rabbit's ear, you will have to repeat round 1 to 3 and for round 4 to 6, just make one single crochet in each and every stitch. If you're gonna sew the eyes for the frog, please insert the safety eyes before sewing. Here, this is an example of how I sew the ear on the head. And you can use the same sewing way that you use for sewing this, also for sewing the rabbit. If you want to watch precisely, please slow down the video speed in the video setting. Now I'm going to add some white details around the eyes. I'm gonna add a mini smile using black yarn. This is how I embroidered the nose for the bunny. I just simply sew a T for the nose. For the bear's nose, make six single crochets into the magic ring and then cut the yarn and stick it on the face then embroider a T for the nose if you want to add blush on your amigurumi you can use pink eyeshadow or real blush and just tap it on the amigurumi like this Now let's start making the dress. Make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your two fingers and pull the yarn through this loop like this and you got a slip knot. Insert your hook into the loop and adjust the size and let's make chains. Yarn over and pull through, you made one chain. 
and over again and pull through you make the second one please make 25 chains or make chains until it is as white as the bear's body after making the chains you can measure it like this and the strap should be able to wrap around the bear's body now there is a little gap between the strap so i will add two more chains Then after that, make sure that the strap is not twisted and insert your hook into the first chain and make a slip stitch. To make a slip stitch, pull the yarn through the loop like this and also through this loop and you made a slip stitch. Now chain one and make single crochet in the first stitch and if you are scared that you might lose the starting point please put a stitch marker on that stitch then after that repeat making single crochets in each and every chain until you reach the start Now I finished making single crochets in each chain and I'm at the start. So please make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Then please repeat like this round for two more rounds. So to repeat this, chain one and make the first single crochet in the first stitch. Put the stitch marker if you want to know the starting point. And then continue making single crochets in each and every stitch. Then when you reach the start, make a slip stitch. Now I'm at the start and I will make a slip stitch like this. To repeat this again, chain one and make single crochets in each and every stitch and if you count the rounds back there should be a total of three rounds now i finished making three single crochet rounds so chain one and cut then weave in the ends so the bottom part of the dress is finished and now let's move on to the top part for this, insert your hook into a stitch near the arm, like this, and make a slip knot with another yarn. You can still use, use the yarn with same color or a new yarn with different color. Then attach it like this and chain one. Then make single crochets in each and every stitch until you reach the next arm. For me, I made seven single crochets. After making single crochets, put the dress again and check if the last single crochet stitch is near to the second arm or not. If it's still far away, you can add more single crochet stitches. For me, I will add one more single crochet. And then after that, let's move on. Chain one and turn your walk. And now make single crochets in each and every stitch. I made 8 single crochets in the previous row and in this row I will get 8 single crochets again. After making single crochet in the last stitch, chain 1 and turn and continue making single crochets in each and every stitch. Please repeat this pattern until the top part of the dress can reach the bear's neck. Now you can see that 
the top part of the dress reaches the neck. So now let's make nine chains. This will be the strap for the dress. After making nine chains, make a slip stitch on the back like this. So insert your hook into a stitch like this and then make a slip stitch. Then after that, make nine chains again. And this time, make a slip stitch into a stitch at the front, so the top of the dress. After making the last slip stitch, chain one and cut the yarn and weave in the ends. Now the dress is finished and you can decorate it by adding a ribbon or adding collars and I will show you how to make collars like this. So grab another yarn and insert your hook into the second stitch. Insert your hook into the front loop of the stitch. And then attach the yarn like this. Then make two chains. One and two. Then make two double crochets together in same stitch. Insert your hook into the same stitch and make two double crochets. Then after that, make two double crochets in the next stitch. So into this next stitch, you will have to make two double crochets together. After making two double crochets, chain two and slip stitch in same stitch. Then after that, slip stitch next for two times. This is the first time. And this is the second time. Then we will repeat the previous pattern again, which is making two chains, two double crochets together in same stitch. Then after that, two double crochets together in the next stitch. And then lastly, make two chains and make a slip stitch in the same stitch. Then after that, chain one and cut the yarn and the mini collar is finished. Don't forget to weave in the ends. You can also decorate the dress by adding a mini heart and for its tutorial please follow my bear pouch tutorial and make a heart from that tutorial. If you want to make mini flowers for the dolls please follow my mini bouquet tutorial. So now the tutorial is finished. I hope you will be able to make your own cute mini dress up dolls. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye!